Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Next, let's next take a quick look at the dollar versus Canada. Uh, what uh, are we seeing in the price action today? What can we expect going forward? What is a bias? What are the risks? That's what I outline in this video. So let's get started. All right, I'm looking at the uh, four-hour chart of this uh, currency pair. I'm going to put a. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to outline uh, two two specific levels that I'm going to be looking at in trading this week. One is this area up here and one is this area down here in trading last week the market fell uh, below this uh, higher area right through here uh, moving down to the lower area now these these areas were defined by different uh, swing levels going uh, take a look at the downside we had these uh, swing highs right here after breaking lower here with uh, form the ceiling before moving to the downside we came back up to that swing area through here uh, before uh, trading above and below the level finding resistance against the 200 bar moving average here here before moving uh, to the upside right through here and using that 200 bar moving average of support we came back down to that area right through here here and here found support buyers each of the time and even right here here and you know for the most part here uh, before trading above and below the level here and moving uh, back to the upside we returned to the level here and in trading last week the low price uh, came down toward the high of that area and found support buyers against the level between the 133.98 and 134.14 is that uh, swing area. Now, on the top side, we have this uh, swing area right through here, and that level is defined uh, by, uh, again, uh, different uh, swing levels going back in time, including, including let's get the, on the arrow here, uh, right through here, 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 uh, here, and here, and here, and here. Uh, we uh, then use the level as a support through here before breaking to the downside and coming back up to the level through here before again breaking to the upside and finding support and trading against that level and then breaking lower last week. So again, you can see that the number of different times that the price shot tra traded uh, to that level and either found sellers or, or buyers against that level, I call it a level of reflection or deflection. So, uh, you know, taking that as a whole, uh, this area right through here is going to be our resistance area up here. And this area down here is going to be our support area for the uh, trading week. Get above it and it's more bullish I'll move below it and it's more bearish uh, and uh, we'll deal with the, the uh, aftermath of that but uh, in between uh, comes the uh, it is uh, located the 200 bar moving averages uh, 200 bar moving average including the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart and the 200 day moving average right here those levels coming at 134.94 uh, and 134.78 and as you can see the current price trend near 135.03 so the buyers are trying to push the price out more toward the upper extreme uh, swing area up through here. Uh, there is uh, other levels in play, including the 100 bar moving averages uh, that uh, come uh, near that swing area. This is the 100 day moving average. This is the 100 bar moving average. So there is a there isn't a shortage of technical levels, but on the wide. I would uh, say that uh, getting uh, outside of this box right here would uh, either increase the bullish bias, have more traders thinking in that direction, or uh, increase the bearish bias, have, have traders looking in the downward direction. And uh, so be aware of those extremes, and in between we have the moving averages to contend with. That's my technical look at the dollar versus Canada. I hope it makes sense to you. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.